What you guys got another video here for you on how to disable Windows Recall and Copilot Plus on Windows 11. Now, if you've been using Windows 11, you'll know that Microsoft have released a new feature called Windows Recall, which takes snapshots of your computer every three seconds. And this is on Windows 11 Pro 24H2, as you see here. And it's going to be coming to a lot of new computers, uh, Windows Recall, and there's also the Copilot Plus for new computers. But this program right here, you can download it for free and it will basically disable those features for you if you don't want to be taking, uh, you know, snapshots every three seconds or even, uh, you know, uh, having Copilot Plus enabled on your PC. So go to the download section here, hit download, and then you go to the three dots and click on keep and then show more here and select keep anyway and it will download that file for you it's because it's a .exe file and that's why you're having to go through that particular security measure there it mentions on his website here that this application has not been signed windows defender smart screen uh, might produce a blue warning which is perfectly fine uh, the program is safe to use i've got it downloaded here now i'm going to click on the installation file and open it up and this will open the file up where we can then go through the process of installing it. You can see here, I'm going to say yes to the user account control, select my language, which is English, and accept their terms and conditions and click on next. And then we need to click on next again. And now we can install it into the location of our choice. Put a shortcut on the desktop if you want to and click install. Now we can launch Do Not Spy 11, which is obviously their latest release and this will open up the application right here, as you can see. It looks quite confusing, but it is pretty straightforward and easy to use. If you look at the actual application, you're going to see down on the left-hand side, these are all the advertising um, areas here, and you can go right through. There's a massive long list, and there's also the app section. So it's broken down into sections here. So we've got advertising, apps, and you can check whatever you like to disable. And uh, we also have another area on the right, which says blue, orange, red, or gray. And this will tell you exactly what's recommended to disable and what's not recommended to disable. Next, we're going into the defender section here. And you can either check mark these one at a time, like I just showed you right there, or you can check mark all and just remove the ones which you don't want to enable. And that's the way I tend to do it myself. So I'll go through here and just show you exactly what it can disable. It's basically disabling all of the telemetry, all of the privacy concerns that you may have with Windows and all of the data harvesting that Microsoft does on their operating system. So all of the widgets and stuff like that, you can disable all of that stuff here. And if you look here, it will tell you if it's in orange, read the description. If it's red, it's not recommended. Gray is settings that have changed since the last time uh, Do Not Spy 11 was used. And we also have blue, which is safe to use. And you can see all of the stuff that's built into Edge, which can uh, be disabled as well. And this is obviously a privacy thing as well. Do not track and stuff like that. User feedback. And this is the new area called Windows AI Artificial Intelligence. Uh, AI Disable Copilot, AI Disable Recall Snapshots, and AI Disable Taskbar Copilot Button. And this will basically do that for you if you uh, checkmark those. But what we'll do here is I'll checkmark all of these, and I'll just go through and disable some of the ones which are basically red, because I don't want to disable the ones that says not recommended. It's that simple. Now, you've got also all enable only and uh, disabled only. I'll show you that in a second. But basically, uh, this is the ones that you've enabled and the one that you've disabled and the ones that's left. So let's go up to actions first, because it's always advisable to create a system restore point. And I'm going to go ahead and do that before you make any changes to the computer. So let's go ahead and click on create a system restore point here. Mine's disabled, but you can enable it by just clicking yes here and it will enable that for you and create a system restore point just in case you want to roll back after you've made changes. But I'll show you basically the way you can roll back. It's quite simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and check mark all of these. And then all we need to do here is just go through the ones that you want to keep. And all of the ones like, say, for instance, your camera, if you're using webcam, obviously you want to leave that unchecked. Otherwise, it's going to disable it. So go through and 
remove this one here. For instance, your microphone. If you need microphone, if you're doing gaming, you might want to be doing your camera and your microphone. So I'd advise you to uncheck those. These ones right here, I'm going to leave these check marked because obviously these are disabling background apps and also disable continued experience. And also this one here, disable clipboard uh, synchronization. And I will leave that check marked as well. So what you need to do is go through here and just leave the ones that you want. Now the one here for smart screen, I'm going to uncheck this because smart screen is a protection type of filter to keep you safe when you're surfing the web. So I'm going to uncheck that and keep that. And uh, the other stuff I'm going to leave check marked here, which is obviously to disable widgets and also to turn off Microsoft consumer experiences. We're going to leave all those there. I'm also going to uncheck mark this one here, which is disable automatic Windows updates and disable malicious software removal tool via Windows updates. I want to leave those on the system. Also, this one here, disable automatic Windows store updates. I want to keep those as well. So we're going to uncheck mark those to make sure they are not touched. And I'll leave everything else. And once you've done that, you can apply these uh, to the computer settings. And that's now done. And it's that simple. All of these will be set in place. Now, if you look here, enable only, these are the ones that you've just enabled. So if you want to reverse these, you would just uncheck mark them and apply. The, uh, disabled only, these are the ones that we've left. And these are the ones that haven't been um, put onto the system. So basically, you can reverse this quite easily by using that method right there. And what this program is going to do is create policies to make sure these are disabled. So if you're on Windows 11 Home, then this will be ideal because you won't have Group Policy Editor and uh, this will take care of all of that for you. So let's go ahead and restart the system and uh, that should then uh, be done for us uh, by just quickly uh, check marking those and applying those settings to our computer. So I'm going to quickly reboot just in case it needed a reboot and see those setting changes uh, in place. So let's go ahead and get to the desktop here. And once we're at the desktop, uh, we can just remove the remnants of Copilot. You can see there's Copilot still down here, but it has been disabled. And all of the other settings have been turned off as well, as you can see here. So you won't have to go through and turn all of these off manually. It's all done for you with this program. Super quick and easy to do, and it's easily reversible. And it creates a restore point as well to stop you having to uh, go through the old process of reinstalling Windows, you can just reverse it by uh, removing those check marks and basically applying those settings. So these are just policies that have been put in place here for you. So there's your screenshots and screen recording here. And we've also got all of these turned off. Everything has been turned off on the system now. Uh, for Copilot here, that won't work. So I'm going to unpin this. And again, you can go into the settings and remove that app if you want to. So that's pretty much it. We've removed all of the bloat from there and disabled uh, Copilot Plus. And we've also disabled uh, the Windows Recall feature, which is a real big concern for a lot of people. It will not be able to turn itself back on because we've, uh, you know, physically disabled that feature to stop it running. And that's basically what you want to do with your PC if you don't want Recall turning itself on. As for Copilot here, there is still the application here. You can quickly uninstall this now and remove the app as well. And it's that quick and simple. All the other applications there, if you want to remove those, I've made videos showing you how to do that. Very simple and easy to do. And you'll have a nice, clean working operating system by using this application. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.